Hello, my name is Trey Cranny. I'm a student at TU Delft and I'm originally from the United States. On November 9th, 1989, I was not born yet. I was born nine years later. When I was a child, I wanted to be an underwater welder. Obviously, I didn't end up doing that. I ended up as an engineer. First off, we need to address the problem that we're facing. As you can see in the top left, this is a photo of the 2018 California wildfires. These wildfires destroyed 1.975 million acres of land. In the top center, you can see the 2019 Australian bushfires. These bushfires destroyed almost 40 million acres of land. And in the top right, you can see a photo of the wildfires currently burning. These wildfires have already destroyed almost 5 million acres of land, and the fire season is only starting. Wildfires keep getting worse, and with that increase in damage comes an increase in cost. On average, $2.9 billion is spent fighting wildfires every year, and these fires cause almost $347 billion in damages. We can't stop wildfires from getting worse. What we can do is innovate in the wildfire fighting technology to try and mitigate as much damage as possible. And in order to go about this innovation, we first have to look at what the current state of the technology is. Currently, what is standard for fighting wildfires is the use of specialized aircraft that carry payloads of water and fire suppressants to directly dump onto wildfires. This works great. These aircraft are actually really efficient at what they do. However, at least in the United States, there are not enough of these aircraft. In total, there's only 23 of these aircraft which is not enough to be able to cover the amount of damage caused by recent modern wildfires. In order to start facing the damages created by these fires, we have to find another solution that supplements the use of advanced aircraft. The solution that I'm presenting today is the M890 fire. This device is a long range man portable wildfire suppression system designed to supplement traditional aircraft based fire suppression systems. These devices are based off of military mortar systems. It uses a standardized 60 millimeter mortar tube to deliver M890 fires into an approaching fire line. This device carries a payload of highly compressed CO2 and a foaming agent in order to suppress an area of a fire. By using readily available surplus equipment, it is possible for a three-person team to deliver a continuous stream of M890 fires into a fire line. With the use of the M890s, it is possible to stop or control rapidly moving wildfires. The M890 fire has the potential to reduce the devastating destruction that wildfires create. The M890 fire uses tried and true military technologies to fight fires in a more efficient way. By using these tried and true technologies, it's possible to implement this fire suppression system on a much larger scale at a lower cost than traditional firefighting equipment. Another advantage to using this system is that it compensates for the inherent weaknesses of aircraft-based fire suppression. With an aircraft, it takes one to six hours between drops of payloads in order to refuel and refill its tanks. However, with the M890, a continuous stream of fire suppression can be provided to a fire line, efficiently controlling the fire in a, in a constructive way. The destruction caused by wildfires creates untold damages for both people and property. By creating new devices to fight these fires, it's possible to protect people and their livelihoods from being devastated. The main question remaining is how this system, the M890 fire, will perform under wildfire conditions. While the technology behind the M890 is tried and true, the actual mechanism by which this system suppresses the wildfire has not been tested under extreme conditions. In order to test the performance of the M890 in these extreme conditions, it's essential that a functional prototype be constructed. 
This prototyping process is extremely extensive and very costly. I'm presenting here today to try and gain support for building these prototypes to implement the M890 on a large scale.